Jane Goodall is a woman who dedicated her whole life to studying chimpanzees. In July of 1960, Jane sailed to Gombe, Tanzania to spend 50 years studying and living with chimpanzees. Jane immersed herself in their lifestyle and discovered many things. Goodall grew up in England and loved the story Tarzan, about a man who lived in the jungle with apes. She wanted to do the same and ended up being a world-renowned naturalist. Goodall spent her time following chimpanzees through the forest and documenting their habits and behaviors. She gave them all names instead of numbers, like Fifi, Passion, and the first ever, David Greybeard. Jane Goodall discovered three key behaviors that chimpanzees had. The first was that chimpanzees made tools to help them perform certain tasks. The second was that they weren't vegetarian. And the third is that chimpanzees have similar social behavior to humans. Jane noticed one day that David Greybeard, a chimpanzee, was using a stick to collect termites to eat. He would take a stick, brush off the leaves, and use the remaining rod to put down a termite mound. When he lifted it out, Greybeard would eat the insects that were on it. Because of this, Jane realized chimpanzees weren't vegetarian. She also saw the apes hunt down a monkey and eat it, as well as a pig. Jane Goodall also noticed that the male chimpanzees were territorial over land and objects. Also, apes hugged and kissed each other to show affection. Jane linked these behaviors to humans and realized that humans and chimpanzees had a lot in common. After leaving the island of Gombe, Jane Goodall earned a PhD in ethology, the science of animal behavior. She's very influential because she travels around the world to give speeches and presentations about protecting chimpanzees to large groups of people in schools. She also lobbies governments. Thanks to Jane Goodall, people view chimpanzees in a new light and are even trying to save them.